had such a good morning this morning. It was sunny, walked the dog on the beach, went for a surf. And then I got back to my computer and I had this email sitting in my inbox, excluded by no index tag. And that immediately added a bit of stress to my day because it means someone's clicked something on one of my sites or something's happened to de-index a page from Google. It means Google's not going to show it. So that meant I've got to go find the error, work out if it's important and change it from being no index or unindexable on Google to making sure this page, if it needs to be, can be indexed on Google. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you in this video, the process of going from receiving an email like this or to going into Search Console and looking at the reasons why pages aren't indexed and spotting excluded by no index tags as one of the potential errors on your website. Just quickly before I show you this error and how to fix it, if you find anything useful on in this video, then please give me a subscribe and a like on this video. It's a new channel. I'm pushing out videos every day just to try and help people get more traffic to their website and build better businesses. So a bit of context. What does excluded by no index mean? Well, you'll find it in the page indexing area of Google Search Console for your website. And when you scroll down here, you'll find all sorts of different reasons as to why pages aren't being indexed. And when something's being indexed on Google, you can think of Google as like a big library. And that library is its index. And anything included in its index or its library means it's available to be shown in Google search results. Doesn't necessarily mean it'll be shown high up on page one of search results, but it means it, it is in the library and it is available to be found and shown to users. Now, if something is not indexed for any reason, whether that's it's got a no index tag or there's other reasons here that you can see as to why a page are not indexed or added into the Google library, that means it can never be shown to users. It's just not available to Google to show to users whether it knows about the page or not. So what does no index tag mean? Well, when we click into no index tag, we can see all the different pages in here that have this no index setting set to them or this tag on their page. Now, when you look through here, you're going to get you're going to likely see a number of different pages. You can see on my report here, there's a lot that say forward slash feed. These, when you open them up, you'll see are just RSS XML feeds, which you don't aren't content pages of your website. You don't want users finding them because they're just bits of code, really. And so you don't want them to show on search results. Now, the report I got, it was referencing one particular page. It's this page here that is an actual blog post on the site, and it's currently being no indexed. What does that mean? Well, when we go on the page, everything looks normal. To you or I or to anyone just looking at the page, it looks like, hey, that's a blog post. Why wouldn't it show on Google? Everything looks all right with it. There's nothing on the page that says like it shouldn't be indexed. So what's the problem and how can we identify it? Well, if you click right click or control click on your computer and you'll have this ability to click view page source. If you click view page source, it brings up a page like this. This is all the code behind the web page that we're looking at. You're going to want to look at this area here at the top, which is this meta tag and name equals robots. This is where you set instructions for robots, literally for search engines or anything crawling your website. And you can see in this one, it's got content equals no index. This no index bit of text here is literally a tag telling search engines that read this site not to index this page. It's meaning it means please do not show this page in search results. If you want to double check for it on the page, you can just hit Command F or Control F and search the word um, no index, and it's going to help bring it up. Now, what should be there is the word just index on its own rather than no index. So why is it there? Well, that's where we have to do a little bit of detective work. Now, there's many reasons that these tags can come up. Number one is there's an SEO plugin on your site or someone has changed a setting on that particular page, usually by accident, by someone who doesn't know what they're doing in your content management system, like WordPress, like Wix, like Squarespace. So we need to go and find and check that setting to make sure it is correct. The other way is usually through the overall settings of your website, through wider plugins or wider settings. So we're going to go through how you can check and fix all these problems now. The first step is identifying, do I want this page to be indexed on Google? Does it matter if this page isn't shown on Google? If it's just a random feed or code page or something irrelevant, then it's probably no indexed out of automatic settings. If it's a content page like a blog or an important service page of your website, then you absolutely need to make sure it's getting indexed. So the first place I'd go is into the back end of my website, into WordPress on this one, or it could be Wix or something like that. And we need to start checking through the settings. Now, 
The first place to check is scroll down to the bottom of your page and where you'll find your plugins or your sort of extra settings. In Wix, it'll be in like the little SEO settings of a page and you can start checking through the advanced settings. On this website, we've got something called Yoast, which is an SEO plugin, which allows us to sort of administer and edit these types of SEO settings. You could also be using Rank Math and things like that. Now we want to scroll down on this plugin down to advanced here. I'm going to open up the advanced settings and you'll see allow engines to show this content in search results. There's actually a little cute quick Q&A here, indexing in Yoast, which you can read through, but you can see it's set to no. That's really important because that's the reason why that no index tag is showing. Basically, someone has gone in and set this page to say, no, we don't want to show it in search results. And so this plugin has gone and put that no index tag on the web page in the code and it's being excluded from search results and flagging up in Google Search Console. So to fix it, all we need to do is say, yes, that's going to remove that tag. So then when we go and look at that page again in a minute, it's going to remove that tag. So if we hit save and we go and view this refreshed version of this page, we'll go and right click view page source. You can see that the meta tag is content equals index. That's great. That's exactly what we want. So that's number one. Now, if it's a more general problem that's covering a lot of pages on your website, we need to look at some different settings in our content management system. So we'd go outside of that individual page and go into the back end. And the first place I'd check is the site-wide SEO settings. Firstly, in any SEO plugins like Yoast you have installed, I'd go into Yoast and I'd look at the settings. Now we can scroll down and see all sorts of different things, but we want to keep scrolling down into the different post types. We've got content types. Um, First one is posts. This is going to determine everything for your blog posts on your site. You've got this toggle here, which says disabling this means that posts will not be indexed in search engines and be excluded from your sitemap. If this is toggled off, then that means all those no index tags are going to apply to all your blog pages. So if you've got a site-wide issue, then it might be that. We can also look at content types pages and look at the same again. So you can go through all of these and check them, but you want to make sure these are all to toggled on. Otherwise, you're not going to show in search results. There's also category areas for your category pages of your blog, which you, you want to make sure that's toggled on, not off. Um, for tags, if you want the tags showing for your website, again, toggle that on. Um, often people overuse tags and they're not that actually helpful for SEO a lot of the time. So some sites I'll turn that off just because people have been writing loads of hashtags essentially into their uh, settings of their post on on WordPress and um, it's just not not helpful for actual SEO versus just categorizing content on a site basically. The other place you're going to want to look is in your main site settings as well um, of your content management system system and you've got all the settings in here. Really we want to be looking for at this reading setting in WordPress and there's a search engine visibility. Discourage search engines from indexing, indexing this site. If you have this box ticked like this, it's going to put that no index tag across the whole of your site. It's going to say like, Google, do not index this website. And that's a devastating thing. That can often happen when sites get migrated and the test site you didn't want indexed, and then you set it live, but you still have those no index tags. And it can just nuke a site's SEO because you're basically removing all the pages from search. So that's another thing you want to make sure is definitely not ticked. Okay.